Hi everybody, John from Wire here. And in this video, we're going to fix an issue that you might see on Google AdSense when you log into your account that says earnings at risk, you need to fix some ads.txt file issues to avoid some issues with your revenue. So this is a requirement for all of your websites that you have that you're trying to run ads on for Google AdSense and some other advertising partners as well. So on this page, I'm on the sites page and you can see that I have a site URL and under the ads.txt status, it says that the ads.txt file has not been found. So we're gonna go and fix this right now. The first thing we need to do is we need to click on the site URL and we need to copy this, time, this text right here, which is our ads.txt file. What we're gonna do now is we're going to upload this text that we just copied into our site's root directory. The easiest way to do this is that if you have a WordPress website, go into your plugins, click on add new, and click on file manager, and search for this plugin right here, file manager, last updated two weeks ago, over 1 million active installations. So click on install now. All right, and now activate the plugin. So now that's been activated, on the left-hand side, you'll see WP File Manager. So click on that. Now we are in the directory of our website right here. So we wanna make sure that we have not clicked on any of these folders, but we are in the root directory. So what we need to do in the root directory is we need to click on this button right here or excuse me, this button right here that says new file, not folder, new file. And then you want to do a TXT plain text file. So now I'm going to rename this to ads.txt and then press enter. And now it will say new file complete. I can edit the file from here. If this notification goes away and you need to edit this file in the future, we just need to find it, right click, and then click on code editor. So this file is empty right now, but we're just going to paste the text that we had copied earlier from Google AdSense, and we're going to save and close. All right, so now that we've done this, we wanna do one last thing, and that is we want to go and view this file from our website itself when we're not logged into our site to see if it actually populated and it's available on the broader internet. So the way we're gonna do that is that we're going to right click and preview, make sure that it's there, it looks good here. And now I'm gonna to go to my website URL and I'm gonna do slash ads.txt and see if that file is there as well. Okay, so I'm at my main website slash ads.txt and I can see that I have my ads.txt file that I just created visible right here. So now what's going to happen is that over the next two days or three days, Google is going to rescan your website and check for this file, which we know that exists right here. And after two days, that alert should go away and your site should be all good to go. One last thing, which is a really, really important thing to do is to remove this plugin. Once you have updated the ads.txt file and you've confirmed that the ads.txt uh, ads file is visible by Google definitely remove this plugin. This is uh, very important for the security of your website. There's nothing dangerous about this plugin, but this is a very powerful plugin that if you don't need to be modifying the underlying files of your site, it's really best to deactivate and then delete it. It will not delete the ads.txt file that we just uploaded earlier. We can confirm that. I'm gonna go back to my file. It's still there. And there you have it. This should resolve the issue. If you have any other questions or if after a couple of days you still see that alert within Google Ads, AdSense, please let me know. Uh, I do read each and every one of the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks and have a great day.